In Brazil, pressure grows to investigate Transparency International for collusion with former Operation Car Wash Task Force leader Delton Dalangnon, who was deposed from Congress this week for violating anti-corruption laws. In Recife, our correspondent Bram Mir has more. The Brazil Superior Electoral Court unanimously ruled to remove Congressman Delton Dalignol from office due to violation of a Brazilian law that was ratified in 2010 called the Clean Slate Law. The Clean Slate Law guarantees that anyone who's been convicted of a crime is barred from running for public office for eight years. In the case of Dalignol, the court ruled that he broke the law by resigning from the public prosecutor's office specifically to protect himself from 15 internal investigations for corruption. One of the charges is that he illegally collaborated with the FBI for years by sharing sensitive information from the investigation against President Lula. Another crime he was under investigation for was trying to reroute 2.3 billion reais of public funds that had been kicked back from the U.S. Department of Justice as part of Operation Car Wash from fines levied on Brazil's state petroleum company Petrobras so that Transparency International Brazil could start a new NGO to fight corruption. This move was blocked by the auditing courts at the time, but last year the public prosecutor's office requested an investigation be made into Transparency International for its role in those negotiations. Now this is relevant because after Dalignol was removed from Congress, Transparency International was the first international organization to speak out on his behalf. Two of Transparency International's biggest historic financiers, Shell Oil and ExxonMobil, were two of the largest beneficiaries of the massive privatizations of Brazil's offshore oil reserves that took place after the 2016 coup against Dilma Rousseff, a coup which at the time the leader of Transparency International Brazil denied had even taken place. So after these pronouncements by the head of Transparency International Brazil this week, pressure is rising to step up the investigation into one of the world's largest so-called anti-corruption NGOs, 